Well, here we are at the uh, St. Joseph Coloma KOA. Yeah, we've got a small game room here. And then a laundry facility. You need to do your laundry. Looks like the St. Joseph Coloma KOA donkey. Yeah, it looks like we got jumping pillow, mini golf, clubhouse, tennis, and a play area. Looks like a self-service miniature golf course. Unfortunately, you can hear the highway from here, so that kind of, that's not the best. Well, I wouldn't exactly say this park is run down, but it's definitely um, old. I mean, the sites are, they seem to be fairly clean. You know, it's not, doesn't look like a bunch of junk or stuff dumped all over, so. It's, uh, even though, you know, you have uh, your own water sewer hookup, cable TV, the, the cable doesn't work all that well. It's kind of, kind of iffy signal. It could be our lot too because we're on the end of a string and it looks like and uh, you can see us probably way in the distance there where our RV is right over there. I guess I don't see what the draw is here at this campground, at this KOA. Um, it's supposed to be a fishing pond but Michigan anyway at least there's no gators in here so I guess other than an overnight stopover I don't see why you'd really want to camp here the only reason we're here is we couldn't get into a state park uh, over the weekend so we're headed back into the state park system on Mondays so we can get back onto the beach of Lake Michigan well one thing this park has going for it is that at least it's in Michigan I noticed a lot of these people are have Illinois plates, which means they're probably from Chicago. Now we're leaving the Coloma St. Joe KOA Barn Grill. It wasn't a bad place, but 45 bucks a night wasn't anything to special about it either. So. Well, it did have a nice uh, playground for children. Here is our uh, camp spot. And in the general store, they have a few little things. And not to be uh, outdone is the burrow that sets out front. As I've said before, this is really not a bad place to stay. It was clean, I'll give it that. But usually, when you stay at a park, you want to have some kind of a draw, either a lake, a beach, Lake Michigan, you know, those kind of things, or some place that is close nearby, like an amusement park or something, you know, some place that you can visit and do things. This place has none of that. So other than just an overnight stopover as you're traveling through, I don't really see much reason to go here. And in reality, this should cost about $25 a night, not $45 a night. That's just too much. 